Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create device category in Intune and using that category, how we can create Azure security groups. Device category allows you to easily manage and group devices in Microsoft to Intune. One benefit of device categories is the ability to create dynamic Azure AD security groups once a device falls under one of them. Using this security group, a device can be assigned appropriate policies and applications. We can create a category such as HR or accounting and using that Indian can automatically add all devices that fall within that category to the corresponding device group in Microsoft Intune. You are giving control to end user and trusting them to select the correct Intune device category during the enrollment process. Hence, this method is not 100% error free. System admins can provide documents to end users to help them to select the correct device categories. We can create a category in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and set up dynamic Azure AD security groups. First, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. You can access it using the URL Azure TPS called double slash endpoint.microsoft.com. In Admin Center, click on Devices. On Device Overview page, scroll down and under Other, click on Device Categories. At this moment, we don't have any device categories created in our Microsoft Intune. Click on Create Device Category to add a new device category. Under the Basic tab, enter the name of the new device category. In this example, we are giving name HR Team. Type an optional description. I'm adding description devices from the HR department. Click Next. On the Scoop tags, click the select Scoop tags you want to use, if any. We haven't created any scope yet, so we'll go with the default scope. Click Next. After reviewing the Review plus Create tab summary, we can click Create to finish creating the Intune device category. We can see the confirmation message, device category successfully created. We can see the device category is successfully created and it appears on the device categories page. Now we can create a dynamic device group using this device category. The devices will get automatically added to the Azure Active Directory dynamic device group based on device categories. But before we create dynamic device group, first we will enroll one Windows 11 computer to Intune using the company portal application. During the enrollment process, it will prompt user to choose the device categories. Let's see those steps first. Let's go to a Windows 11 computer. Uh, let me show the host name of this computer first. We can see the host name is win11-cli04. Let me close it. Uh, open Microsoft Store and search for Company Portal application. Let me click on Company Portal. Click on Get to install it on this Windows 11 computer. I'm going to click on No Thanks. The downloading process has been started and wait for the installation process to complete. The company portal application has been installed successfully on this Windows 11 computer. Click on launch to open company portal application. Enter the username which is going to be user2.msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. After entering the username, click on next. Enter the user password and click on sign in. Select allow my organization to manage my device. 
Click OK. This will take some time to complete the enrollment process. You can see the message. While we register this device with your company and apply policy, hold on, this may take a moment. We need to verify our identity, so this will send one OTP code on your registered mobile number. Let me click here to receive OTP code on registered phone number. We need to enter the OTP code here to complete the verification process. After entering the code, click on verify. The verification process has been completed successfully. I'm going to click on OK. It is asking us to set up the PIN, so we also need to set up PIN for additional security. After entering the PIN, click on OK. Almost done. Click Next. It will prompt us to choose the device categories. Since we have created only HR Team device category, we will select it. So let me select the radio button, HR Team. This is going to be the device category for this Windows 11 computer. If you have multiple device categories, choose the correct device categories as per your device. Click on Done and the device will be assigned to the chosen device category, which is HR Team in our case. The Windows 11 enrollment in Microsoft Intune is successful. On home page, we can see our device name, which is Windows 11-CLI04. To see this device in Intune, let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Admin Center. Click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Here, we are not able to see our device Windows 11-CLI04. So I think we need to wait a little longer and then after the device will be here. Let me click on refresh. Uh, the device is still not here. So I'm going to pause the video recording. Once the device is here, I'll resume it. After waiting for uh, three to four minutes, the device appear in all devices page. So here we can see the enrolled a Windows 11 device with the name Win11-CLI04 with personal ownership. We also want to check the device category. To do so, I'm going to click on Windows 11 device name, which is Win11-CLI04 in our case. Let me click on it. Under Manage, click on Properties. And from the properties page, we can confirm device category is HR team, which we have selected during the enrollment process. Next, we will create a dynamic device group using the device category attribute. To do so, I'm going to click on groups. We will be on all groups page. Choose new group to start creating the group. Select the group type as security and enter the group name for this dynamic device group. Here, I'm giving name HR Team Devices and adding description. All the devices from HR Team will be added to this group. We need to select membership type as dynamic devices from the drop down menu. Click the add dynamic query to define the rule. On the configure rule tab, Select property as a device category. Let me click on this drop down arrow and select device category. Select operator as equals and type HR hyphen team as a value to match. Remember, HR hyphen team is the name of device category in our example. Let me click here to see the rule syntax which is going to be device dot device category hyphen eq hr team. Click save to save the rule syntax. Click on create to initiate dynamic device group creation. We can see the confirmation message successfully created group name hr team devices. Click on refresh to see the updated group list. So I'm going to click on refresh. We can see a group is created successfully with the name HR Team Devices. This is the group type which is security and membership type is dynamic. Now let's check dynamic group membership list. 
As per our Dynamic Device Group Membership Rule, Windows 11 device name Win11-CLI04 must be listed as a member of that group. Let's check that. Click on HR Team Devices. Remember, Dynamic Group Membership updates are expected to process for all groups within 24 hours. So we need to wait a little longer to see the members in this group. I'm going to pause the video recording. Once I have something, I'll resume it. After waiting for one day, finally dynamic rule processing status is completed. Now we have last membership change timestamp. That means the all the members added or removed successfully based on the dynamic group rule. Under manage, click on members. We can see a Windows 11 device named Win11-CLI04 is listed as a group member. Since Windows 11 device category is HR team, it is matching with the group membership rule which we have defined for HR team devices group. So that's it. That concludes the video on how to create device category and using that category how we can create dynamic device group in Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.